Hi all, welcome to vSparks. Today we are going to discuss why we need to choose Google Cloud Platform and what are the advantages of Google Cloud Platform over the other cloud service providers. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. Why Google Cloud Platform? Following are the main reasons why we are preferring Google Cloud Platform over the other cloud service providers. GCP has a very good underlying infrastructure to run small to complex workloads with no compromise in security. Google Cloud offers very good analytics and AI platform to its customers which is used by Google these many years for its own products. It supports wide range of open source products like TensorFlow, Kubernetes, Apigee and so on natively. Google also offers integration of its enterprise product called Google Workspace that is formerly called as G Suite with Google Cloud Platform. Products like Gmail, Drive, Apps, Maps, Google Sheets, Docs, etc. can be leveraged from Google Workspace to Google Cloud Platform. Global Network of Data Centers Actually, Google Cloud Platform is powered by Google's infrastructure which is running applications like YouTube, Gmail, Google Search, Maps and so on. Google's global network has over 100 plus points of presence location across 33 plus countries. This ensures low latency and greater responses while using the applications deployed in Google's infrastructure. Pricing innovations GCP resources are built using per second basis model and also it offers less expensive services compared to other cloud service providers. It also offers automatic and reserved discounts for the virtual machines. They are likely called as sustained usage discounts and committed usage discounts. For example, in sustained usage discounts, if we use a virtual machine for 30 days continuously in a month, we will be getting some discounts on the overall usage price. If we use a virtual machine for 15 days continuously in a month, we will be getting some discounts on the overall usage price. These discounts are automatic and no need to configure anything. In the committed use discounts, we have to give a commitment for a period of time to avail this discount. For example, we have to declare that we are going to use a virtual machine for one year or two year time frame. Google Cloud Virtual Machines GCP offers a unique feature called custom machine types. Let us discuss this with an example. Normally to create a virtual machine you have to pick up a template that defines the number of CPUs, number of memory, number of hard disk etc all those things. That template here is referred as machine types or instant type. In other cloud service providers, these machine types are not configurable as it is already predefined. But in Google Cloud, it offers custom machine types, meaning we can configure these templates. It also offers the predefined machine types as well. Using custom machine type, you can configure your own template that defines the number of CPUs we want, the number of memory we want and so on. We can pick up either the predefined machine types or the custom machine types as per our requirements. Next is preemptable machines. A preemptable VM or a preemptable machine is an instance that you can run at a much lower price than the normal instances. 
However, these instances may get terminated if the GCP requires the VM's underlying resources for other tasks. GCP always terminates preemptable instances after they run for 24 hours. The other aspect of GCP VMs is that they are having greater or faster boot times. Next is security and trust. With respect to infrastructure security, the distinguishing factors we should consider are Custom security chips at each and every hardware is present in Google's data center to scan the threads. Network communication is fully encrypted at rest and as well as in motion. GCP is well protected against the DOS attacks. With respect to data security, factors to consider here are Data is encrypted at rest and in motion. Data loss prevention mechanisms, access transparency and phishing protection. These are some familiar security and compliance certificates that Google Cloud is certified for. Now let us see the niche products and features that Google Cloud Platform is offering in the fields of Big Data. Google aims at a fully managed serverless approach for data warehousing. Less expensive petabyte plus data storage system. Scalable event ingestion and messaging services. Very good data transfer solutions and tools to transfer tons of data to Google Cloud Platform. Intelligent data preparation tools, batch processing and stream processing engines. Serverless Visual Intelligence Tools Managed Spark and Hadoop Ecosystem using Dataproc Now let us discuss some of the key features of AI and ML with respect to Google Cloud Platform. Google Cloud supports pre-built AI and ML models. Some of them are Vision API, Speech-to-Text Conversion API, video intelligence API and so on. If our use case is not fitting into any of these pre-built models, of course, we can go for the custom models. Google Cloud also supports popular ML frameworks as well. For example, TensorFlow. We can make use of the TPU-based hardwares for AI and ML workloads. With respect to deep learning, it offers deep learning containers and deep learning machines. Open source softwares. Following are the popular open source softwares which Google natively supporting. Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration platform. Forcity is an open source security platform for GCP. Istio is an open source service mesh. TensorFlow is a popular ML framework. APG is an open source API platform. With respect to hybrid cloud management, Google introduced a solution called as Anthos. This Anthos is built on top of the popular open source products. The objective of Anthos hybrid is that you build your application once and run anywhere. This means that you build your application once and run anywhere in on-premises or on the cloud. You can also run your application in other cloud service providers as well without any rework. This much flexibility is offered by Google Clouds and Thos. Well, that's it for this lecture. This is the summary that we have discussed so far in this video. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.